G'day folks. Well, I got some bits and pieces from work today. Uh, stuff that's sort of unfit for sale to other customers at second hand. Used parts from pull cover winching systems. Um, as you probably figured out, I work for a uh, swimming pool equipment manufacturer. I'm not at, li not at liberty to say who and where, but rest assured I get to play with some pretty cool stuff. DC motor drives, electrical discharge machining, milling machines, stainless steel welding, you name it. I'm in their engineering division. So, today we're going to be looking at a gearbox which has shit itself. Okay, well it's time for today's victim. This is a, uh, I'm not sure what the gear ratio on it is, but it's made by Rossi Motori Dutor. Motori Dutori or something like that. It's Italian. Uh, yeah, Motori Dutori. <laughs> SPA 12 Modena Eshley type MRIC 150UO3A601 in this other box. Not sure what the ratio is. It's rated 250 watts input. Came off a 250 watt 24 volt DC motor. I've taken the bolts out of this end so that should come straight off. It's got a fair step down gear on it before the actual worm drive. Yeah, it doesn't sound very healthy in that crown wheel, but big crown wheel's not spinning. Yeah, there's some chips of metal in here. And I'm afraid this one's eating itself. No, you probably can't see it, but deep down inside that case on the other end of this gear, there's a tiny little pinion, very similar to one that drives a uh, angle grinder, like the motor pinion on an angle grinder. And that's just free spinning, so that's had all its teeth stripped off. I think someone's just overloaded this and it's just gone pop. That would, would have done it if the pull cover or whatever it was winching jammed up, it would have just torn that thing apart. Okay, well I'm gradually getting into it. I must press these things together though. They built it pretty well. One circuit there and one there I can take off. See the crown wheel's missing bits of teeth. Well, evidently they do put these together with probably without the intention of them being repairable or serviceable. At least not without a 10 ton press because I have to put this one in the too hard basket. It's just not worth the effort to pull it to bits. A couple of tapered roller bearings in the side there. Uh, yeah, it's just stuffed. Well and truly, a bit of a shame because it's a nice any angle gearbox, you can mount it on any, any angle, but she's gone. Now, oh, thanks for watching.